I just love summer, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, you can't beat that. Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard. Today I have finally a lavalier mic, I hope you can hear me well and you don't hear those pesky cicadas that are making a ton of noise. And today we are gonna review the Protec 25 Pusher by iFlight. And they sent me this inside their backpack, I have it right here. Check out the review, I made it a few days ago and this backpack is really worth it. And as always, I already opened the box, but this time I got very good at it. You cannot almost see, I, <laughs> I tampered with it. So let's open the sticker and, and boom, it's full of stuff. Let's check it out. And this is the analog FR Sky version. I don't use analog anymore, so I'm gonna have to switch to digital, but I have analog module to use it. First of all, we get this thing right here, so it's to connect your receiver to your radio and update it. Very nice, they include it. This is a servo connector basically, but I've never seen it included. We get a box with the antenna tubes and a lot of extra screws and they are labeled so you don't mismatch them. And also we get very nice a uh, USB, micro USB type C, say, all of them. Then we get an extra set of propellers, very nice when they include that. And also these ones, I never seen them, they are from iFlight itself and they are the Nazgul 2525 propellers and they look very nice, bullnose. It's quite a while I have to see bullnose propellers. I, I'm very curious to see how they perform. Also we get this very nice textured foam, I don't know if you can see it, it's like alligator leather. Very nice to put on the outside of your drone, so when you crash. And also, it's very light, I love it. Also, we get an extra strap, and this is a high quality one with a metal hook. And lastly, we get instructions, and they are very, very, very nicely packaged. Look at the quality here, it's rounded, very nice. Other companies give you a sheet of printed paper, and it's not very high quality. This one is attention to detail. And also, you get stickers right here, very nice. And lastly, we get to the drone itself, and look at this thing. I like the design, actually it has these octagonal ducts, but inside, of course, it's round, so it doesn't interfere too much. And <laughs> they are pretty, pretty thick, actually. It's hollow inside, but they've not spared on thickness. And this is probably a little bit heavier than it should be, but I'm gonna test that later. And it looks, actually, very, very sturdy. So, I hope this serves a function, you know, and it's not only aesthetic and this is so weird this is the first time i ever see carbon like this and it's just satin carbon it doesn't have any pattern on it i actually love the design it probably doesn't have a cosmetic layer on top and still super 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 sturdy i love it i hope more companies start using this carbon because it looks super sleek and also still talking about carbon look at this motors and screws, they are all touching the carbon plate and they don't touch the plastic because they added an extra screw for attaching the plastic frame and this is so important because carbon is very rigid and it doesn't create vibrations the motor is super super solid on the carbon and this should improve a lot the flight performance and also the jello, it shouldn't have any jello and also it shouldn't have jello because these motors are Shing 1404 5500 kV and they should be very 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 smooth I can't wait to try it actually and also look down there there are these throws so your wires don't go into the propellers and this is very very nice attention to detail also another very nice feature it's it's very easy to open this drone to service because the plastic frame has only six screws holding it to the carbon frame one two three four five and six and also there is another one here, but this is a separate compartment, it opens so you can access your receiver. Very, very, very clever design and also sturdy, like the plastic doesn't flex at all. Very, very, very strong. And now let's see the other specs of this drone. So we have an all-in-one, a 4 flight controller with 20 amp PSCs. We have a 600 milliwatt Saxx Mini Force VTX, this is for analog, remember. We have this very nice little antenna from iFlight. And also look at this hybrid mount they made. It fits long range, regular antennas and the 
uh, VTX antenna. Very, very nice design. I like it. It's 3D printed. As it's 3D printed in the front, the camera mount and uh, naked GoPro mount right here. I'm gonna have to change this because I use my own Dyson mounts and they are different from this, but I like the way they designed it. And this is the first time I see this brand, Racecam R1. I'm gonna try this and then I'm probably gonna switch to HD digital. Also, look at the battery strap. I, I don't know what to feel about the way it's mounted. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Doesn't look too bad, actually. This TPU is very, very strong. It should not come out, but I don't know. Yeah, it's not bad. And lastly, we have a regular 2.4 GHz RXXR FR Sky receiver. And I'm gonna have to probably switch it to R9 if I wanna use it. And talking about weight, this drone right here, analog, is 127 grams. The HD version is 143. It's not that much. You can carry a naked 08 and um, 650 for S milliamps battery and still be under 250 grams with the analog and the HD. So very, very nice work they did because it was my main complaint about the old one, the old Protec. It was just too heavy and it was not sub 250 grams. This one is, so it's probably going to go on my backpack. And for this first test, I'm gonna use this drone as is, without changing anything about it. I'm only gonna do two things. First of all, iFlight sent me an updated p tune and I'm gonna just add it to it, so it's gonna fly better. And I'll leave it in the description so you can add it too to your drone. And also, I'm gonna add this foam, so I have the full package, you know? Let's go. And it's a bit too long, maybe I stretched it too much, but better long than short. So, I'm gonna fix it and let's try it. Perfect, it's a new day, I bound this to my radio and I put in the new pids that iFlight recommended. And you can check them out in the description, be warned though, you need to activate the bidirectional dish shot in order to use them. And also, remember your settings, because uh, when I put in that, uh, it went to crossfire and not s bus, so you have to change a couple of things around. I tested over it, it overs. Now I'm gonna try for the first time how it flies. I hope it flies good because I was a little bit stupid. I didn't try with the original pids before, but if they say try the new ones, I try the new ones, you know? So let's see how this flies without nothing on top, only the battery. So the slot for the batteries fits a 650 milliamps maximum, as you can see. So if you wanna use something bigger, maybe you need to re-3D print this or put your batteries like this vertically. Just be warned of that. So let's put this in. I have to say the battery is very, very sturdy on that. So it's not that bad. And also it has a lot of space for putting the camera on the front. So not a big deal. Also, I was looking, at, it has no dampeners, but you can 3D print whatever adapter you want, so you can even add dampeners. And that's probably what I'm gonna do if it has jello. I don't think it will, but you know, extra peace of mind. Never, never hurts. And of course, for it being analog, I'm gonna use my thingy right here, Pro 58 from Ishin, and I'm gonna record it, so no problem there. Let's put it in acro and let's go. Okay, doesn't sound too bad. Very stable. Yeah, iFlight makes very stable quads, as I remember. Yeah, it's crazy stable, look at it. Wow! Yeah. It's not crazy powerful, I have to say. Oh, I, I forgot this is analog. I can do whatever I want, it's not HD. <laughs> I lose signal. But wow, I mean... 2.5 inches, analog, look at this, it's locked out, locked, uh, it's locked in, yeah, oh, yeah, I always fall for that, it's probably at 25 milliwatts, I need to crank the power up, yeah, <laughs> I probably need to crank the power up, look at this, I mean, it's crazy, it's crazy, it doesn't wash out. 
pretty nice job. Yeah, bigger motors are a very nice improvement. Ah, uh, oh my god, oh my god, yeah, people, HD, much better. <laughs> I mean the picture is not is not crazy bad uh, you can see stuff but it's the interference that you don't see with HD I mean the battery is draining a bit faster than I would like remember there is no camera on top there is uh, no HD system on top so yeah I mean I also did a little bit of acro so that's probably the reason but we are at six seven amps hovering yeah we are at 30 <laughs> if you push it so yeah we are at three minutes 20 seconds you can see in the bottom or yeah you should start considering landing yeah let's land at 330 and call it i mean it's super precise wow the motors are on the warmish side 30 40 degrees we also did some macro so it's to be expected and the battery not bad it's fine and this is one of the best flying 2.5 inches i tried so far super super stable locked in it's on rails and you can flip flop do whatever you want dive and it still holds of course it's very light it doesn't have camera it doesn't have the hd so i'm gonna try with that and let you know now i'm gonna put the, the camera on top so we can see with that but i guess it will hold very very nice we have to see for jello first and also it seems to be a little bit less efficient than than other ones but it flies very good so it makes up for it and just look at this i found a mount down here for the c85 and it works on this uh, protec 25 so I'm, I'm lucky it's not perfect but sturdy enough the gopro doesn't wiggle and uh, now the question is let's try and let's see if there is jello in the gopro recording because if the drone flies good and there is no jello this thing is going on my backpack also i had to change the camera because the original one doesn't fit inside my mount but with other mount you can use the original included one and it's no problem and also i'm gonna put the cadix vista in it anyway so i don't really care about this camera i'm gonna redesign everything when i do that okay so recording let's go and as a cine whoop, not bad it fly oh my god <laughs> yeah i need to put digital in this thing so as a cine whoop, it flies very good and you know it's it's locked out it's locked in <laughs> again it's locked in it goes where you want to and I mean there is wind you can see it probably in the footage and not much problem with it you can see there is no prop wash <laughs> I mean this thing is I can do some work with it let's try doing some flips flops and stuff like that yeah if you go slow it's not that hard on the battery of course oh my god this thing flies like a toothpick yeah this thing is going on my backpack i don't think it will have jello i hope it doesn't because it flies perfectly yeah, it flies somewhat better than the synalog i'm gonna put some uh, um, Vista in it, Cadex Vista in it, design a better mount and then I'm gonna compare all of the uh, Cine Whoops I have and I have the Cine Log 25, the Power 30, this one and soon I'm gonna receive a Holy Bro copies so I can try them all and I guess it flies this good because the motors are the bigger ones, the 1404, now every, everybody is going with the 1404s and yeah, now I believe they fly very good, also the Gepard C Cine Log comes with the 1404 now so it's gonna be better I mean <laughs> flies very good it's not super crazy on the battery draining of course if you fly fast you're gonna drain some battery oh my god whoa whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> you're gonna drain some battery if you fly fast but 
Not bad. 650 milliamps. For S. Oh! Yeah, we are dropping low. Let's land. 2 minutes 27. Yeah, it's not the most efficient quad. And the motors are a little bit hotter than before, but nothing crazy. I'm surprised by the way it flies. With the tune they gave me, I didn't try it before, but now flies incredibly good. Like, it's all rails, you can do whatever you want. Very, very nice drone. I just wish it will consume a little bit less battery because it's draining it very, very fast. And maybe I need to change the propellers. These ones are bull nose propellers. They have all the weight at the end like it like you see and it's harder to spin them but also they have more control so there is always a balance you know i'm gonna try with a little bit less aggressive props and let's see how it goes and i just watched the video you just saw and i have to say yeah you saw it already there is a little bit of jello but that's something to be i don't that can happen if you have a um, hard mounted mount like this the motor spins very fast, there is vibration that gets introduced into the camera, the camera moves very fast and there is a rolling, rolling shutter that makes that, and that's jello basically. And maybe you are lucky, you have a different mount, you have a different camera, and you don't have jello. Some people may say use an ND filter, but I go to work with these drones, so if I have to fly from outside in, to indoors, and indoors is very, very dark, you don't want to use an ND filter, of course, so you have to sacrifice the outside. And I don't want to see any jello, I want to trust the drone. And there is a way to do that. It's rubber dampener. And again, I'm going to take the Cinelog as an example. It's becoming a meme, but this drone, I can trust it. It doesn't fly as good as the, as the Protec. Also because I have the smaller 1204 motors and I just discovered that 1404 much better maybe also this one should fly, should fly better with those the new version comes with 1404 i've not tried it maybe i'm gonna get one to see what changed but still talking about the mount you see it comes with the mount pre-included and this is just perfect but i have to say the mount they did for the camera is very very versatile you can 3d print whatever you want and attach it down here so i'm gonna 3d print a soft mounted mount and you can download it in the description you can try it for yourself and this drone will become will become much much better and after i do the vista and the rubber dampening is gonna go on my backpack because it flies amazing just give me a little bit of time if you don't find it when the the video comes out it will be available soon so wrapping up this review i really love this drone it flies like a dream it's probably one of the best if not the best cine whoops and maybe even better than some two tweaks i tried flies just so good and battery life could be a little bit better but still it will be the best if it had the dampeners that's what i'm thinking so still it's a little bit less than the than the cinelog if i flight comes up with a version with dampeners this thing is gonna be the best cine whoop there is in my opinion for naked gopro at least and that's all for today i'm gonna do all the mods try it with other propellers try it a bit you know go to work with it and see how it is and i'm gonna make an updated videos comparing all the other cine whoops and as always if you like this quad you're gonna find the links down in the description below clicking on them you help my channel and also i'm gonna give you some discounts so it's not bad stay safe and happy flying bye